Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome back to the Zombie Train. This is a root review, of course. Maybe this should be filed under, uh... Maybe this should really be filed under under construction, but... I'm not gonna break that tradition now. We are on the Route Green Gorge. It's by... Our friend Jay Grail. Plays, uh, Andy in the Iron Horseman Chronicles, and is... Uh, one of the major builders on Gmod builds a lot of cool stuff. He's built uh, Johnson and Gary's mod, as well as a ton of other engines. And he built this route, this rather expansive route, as a matter of fact, in trains here. Uh, it has been upgraded for Tane, so I don't have to dock any points for that, which is nice. And as far as everything goes, it's it's very close to being well done. Uh, like, it's it's... It may well be the highest root review grade I ever give, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Now, one of the pl one of the things that I can think of. Oh, let me go back to the train here. Let me just get to zoom back in. We are starting at uh, GN. The I don't I don't know the name of this town. The station building is not named. Uh, the, the junctions are not named, but the track marks, which there are track marks, uh, have an abbreviation GN on the front of them. So, I assume that means the town is Green Gorge? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, GN something. Also, so let me give right off the bat a 10 for content. Because everything is on the DLS. The route is on the DLS. All of the assets are on the DLS. There's a multiplayer obsession. And uh, it's 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 fantastic, it's splendid. But I, in my infinite wisdom, kind of forgot to download the assets. I expected them to come downloaded with the root because I'm not used to everything being on the download station. So everything is downloading currently. Let's get down to oh, let's do oh, I can't filter, can I? Everything should be under Green Gorge. So we've got some stuff that's downloading currently reefer cars and stuff like that, and then these two downloaded, but they don't have tenders, and currently it's downloading something else right now. It's downloading assets for something, and then I assume it'll appear in the list here. So I had to throw on a, a Rio Grande tender for, for this guy. Uh, if we need help, there's a brand new UNA51 on the DLS, or not brand new, but he's not broken, which is nice. So... We're going to be using that. Now, let's get moving. Ooh, it's got a custom tab. We're not cut. It's, it's different than what I know. Oh, but it doesn't... It's not operable. Ah, oh, that's really disappointing. Damn. Oh. Should have grabbed one of the uh, other things that... Alright, so we're going to leave GN. We're going to head out here. I hope this guy has enough oomph to uh, move this train. It's not particularly heavy. It's a little mixed train here. 143 tons. Yeah, that's pretty light. That's pretty light. Because I didn't load any of these cars. Is it doing the weird sort of jittery thing with the... A little bit, but not too bad. Oh, this is a little hill. Come on, let's go. Why are there only 14 pounds in the steam chest? Why are there only 17 pounds in the boiler? I guess I must be sitting around too much. Do we have an auto fireman that we can turn on? No, we don't. How do I turn on the blower? That's Bell. That's sand. That's headlight, obviously. Okay, um... Let's just get a new copy of the engine. I must have let it sitting for too long. Get rid of you. And replace you with a brand new you of yourself. Oh, we've got, uh, 
a 2662 tender, but no 2662 to go with it. What the heck? Oh, okay, I get it. We've got 440, number 4. Oh, it's so cute. And Green Gorge on the tender, which is very, very nice, of course. We might use this if we need help or something. Alright, let's get moving. Now that we've got 125 PSI in the boiler, let's add some water, turn off the brakes, get us moving. It's a little bit of grass. There's a little bit of uh, missing texture here or something. It's not missing, it just wasn't placed. So, I'll assume that's just a little mistake there. Not perfect, God forbid. But the detailing here, the details are all very impressive. Of course, it's, it's just going weird because Tane doesn't like my computer. Anyways, we're going to come out of this tunnel. Now, if I may have one uh, criticism about this area in particular, it is the fact that the, uh, the track arrangement seems kind of model railroady, and that'll hurt the world score a little bit, but it's, it's cool at the very least. It just seems... Uh, you know, a little bit wobbly and a little bit much for this area. But this area seems like it's still in development with this missing, of course. We'll see. Alright, let's, uh, let's kick it up another notch. I'll just go full beans. Can I not? Nope. I'm hitting spacebar and not shoveling. So that means I'm going to do it this way. Here's our train, headed out of this tunnel. We've got, um, like a, a, a Green Gorge engine, a Grand Tender, a uh, Green Gorge Combine, an NCNRR boxcar, Green Gorge boxcars all the way down until a couple of Green Gorge Reefers, a TD&W boxcar, and a Thunder Mesa uh, Reefer with a CNS caboose on the end. This is 1009. Oh wow, this thing can book it. Alright, bring it back. Wait, which way do I want to go? Oh, this is not the way I wanted to go. Hold on, I need to do the trains thing. Oh, damn it. Oh, what? <laughs> awesome. Stop. Come here. No, 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 don't roll away. Go over there. Go over there. You turn it around. The downside of this area being so arcadey is the fact that it's, uh, it's kind of confusing to navigate. Alright, let's grab this. Okay. They just don't want to cooperate then. Right, place one of these. These guys are going to get so far away in the meantime. Place one of the tenders. Tender. And I didn't get the rest of it. Oh well. well let's go grab a Green Gorge Combine. Where did these guys go? Come back here. Oh well, I'll add a combine and a coach to replace the uh, to replace the box car that exploded. 
That's not what I wanted to do. Well, at least it got it to stop moving. Go at this end. The engine goes at the front of the train. Okay. No, I don't want to decouple anything. Did I, did I accidentally do that? Okay, no. So I saw something about the sea in this caboose. Oh, probably because I had to uncouple it from the front of the train here. Okay. Just gas it. Why not? We are going uphill now. Okay, so let's see. We've got creativity, operations, track work, scenery, content, size, time, stock and era, world, and bonus. I already gave you a TED for content. There's that. Uh, I'm going to give you two bonus points for all the reskinning that was done for this. Because it's just impressive. And you've got, uh, you've got, whatchamacallit, water. You've got coolant water. Throw this switch so we don't do anything stupid again. The scenery here is... The scenery over this entire map is pretty top-notch. I've seen... I've seen it before. Uh, there are a little bit of... There are some goofs here and there. This might just be because I have a broken texture or something, which is entirely possible and actually pretty likely. Oh, and we've got a we've got a pretty serious hill that we're going down. Let's uh, put on the independent to arrest our speed a little bit. All right, that was a little too much independent. Oh, right, did we just hit a dip or something? I thought we were going to go careening down the mountain out of control there. Mm, I'm just disappointed. Okay, so, now, as for creativity, now, it is a narrow gauge line, and that's generally something in my book, not, not that I'm biased towards narrow gauge lines, but the majority of lines are standard gauge, of course, and, not that I'd knock off points for that if it's something especially creative, but this route is something on its own, it's, uh, very expansive, and it has a heck of a lot to it. It's not flood the boiler too much. It has a heck of a lot to it. And it just seems like the kind of route where it, you know, meanders and it's interesting and... I don't know, you can see there was a lot poured into this route. So... I don't know, nothing nothing strikes nothing about it strikes me as well this is cliche, this is repetitive. Uh I'm I'm having a hard time finding a reason not to give it a ten. And once again, especially because everything's reskinned, it's 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 a whole thing all on its own. So I, I think I will. Now, as for operations, I know there is a multiplayer operating session, so that's got to be something. Additionally, there is a... Can I put coal in the normal way now? Nope. The engine doesn't like that. Uh, there is... Or there are track marks in locations like sidings and stuff like that, so I feel like the AI could navigate it properly. I... Apparently there are not signals. So that is a detriment in my book fairly significantly, because those are generally the first things you put down, even if they are just invisible ones, because you don't want the route to have them for the sake of uh, AI use. Because if you're doing operations, getting the AI to do something right is is pretty important in my book. The junctions aren't named either. 
But that being said, uh, yeah, I, I think the AI would have a pretty hard time navigating, especially with the lack of signals. Well, let's, let's get up this hill here. The varied grades are really a plus. And there's nothing too, too weird about the track work either. I'll ignore the, the missing spots of texture there, just for the sake of it. I'm going to need to use this bridge, though. There's so many good assets on here that I can make use of. Yeah, I, I'll go this way. I'll go straight. I'm guessing this is the main line. Doing the water. Yeah, the track work is pretty top-notch as well, but uh, operations, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a five. Because having the named, uh, having the named track marks is pretty important, and they are, they are, yeah, but I'm still not thinking about this, the lack of signals is immense, oh crap, I don't know this, it's going the wrong way. Hopefully nothing pops off. Yeah, the lack of signals is immense for... Uh, Alright, there, we made it through. For difficulty in operation, so yeah, I'm going to bump that down to a 4, actually. Because the track marks are good, you can't do much with the track marks if you don't have signals. You know, they're, they're good for the people, but the operations is not about the people being able to use the route, necessarily. Because you can talk... You can talk to people, say where you are, blah, 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 all day long. And, uh, if an AI train has no idea what it's doing, I don't think the route is, is set up particularly well. Still, though, uh, I understand that this is supposed to be a route that doesn't have signals. At the very least, setting up some invisible ones for the sake of the AI, I think, is very important. And we've already gotten too close to that. Alright, listen. Train break. Come on, full bricks. You had a crazy independent a second ago. There we go. Oh, hey, a signal. It's a red signal four miles away. Is it a buffer? Because I was about to have to rescind everything I just said, if, that's, if there are actually signals out there. Hold on, can I turn on... Where are signals? Signals are on. I turn off junctions and gradients. Oh, there are some signals. Okay, I'll bump that back up to a, a six then. There are some signals over here. This part of the route is on signals so far. Uh, markers, track side light. Let's get rid of those. Okay, that's awesome. We've got some signals. Never mind. It was not fully representative of the route. I just expected to see some. Okay. Um, so the signals seem, seem quite well spaced. Well, I'll, I'll see if I can amend that when we get to it. Either way, track work. I haven't seen any flaws in the track work other than, other than the fact that it's kind of just wobbly, I guess. It's, it's not very... Uh, it's not very... Well, over here it's good. That said, there's a lot of areas, yeah, where it does something like this. But there's a lot of right angles. And that isn't necessarily representative of railroading. It is when you have to deal with, uh... Well, this is, this is more akin to real railroading than this. Because this looks like it's... This looks like you're snapping together 90 degree pieces of track. Uh, as opposed to actually, you know, piecing together. Why are we slowing down? Oh, we're going upgrade. Uh, as opposed to actually piecing together 
you know, sections of railroad. The, uh, the straight sections are used well, but they're generally very aligned with the cardinal directions, and that's not really the best. That said, the quality of the track work is very good. So, I'm going to have to give it a solid 9 on track work. There's nothing, there's nothing that, uh, that strikes me about track work that goes, oh, well, this is, this is not, this is weird. Additionally, the scenery is quite good. One thing about this, though, is we've got these fields. I, I assume there's supposed to be fields here. And there's nothing connecting them. There's no way to get to them. Uh, also, there should be a point off for coolant water as well. Aside from that, the scenery is quite decent. Quite good, as a matter of fact. I'm going to get a shovel some more. I really wish the space bar worked on everything ever. It just sometimes will give up on me. The scenery is quite good. I feel like maybe, maybe, if anything, the floors could be more densely packed. But that's, you know, that's minimal at best. Also, you can see that there. That's, that's nice. Although, uh, I will say, I believe there, the rule of one between track and edge is is pretty well used in two over here. So. At the very least, an eight. And there aren't. This is just grass over here. You know, it seems the trees are nice, but it seems very plain. Okay. Uh, also, I now understand what was meant when. Uh, Jake said to me it was laid out like a triangle. I was having I was having a pretty hard time visualizing that. There's a stub end. No uh no buffers on the stub ends. Again, I assume I'm driving through the more under construction portion of the map. But I'll give I'll give scenery an eight. Because I assume it even gets better from here. As for size. Now Size is a solid 9. Now, it's a good size. It's a very good size. And the size does not seem to be a detriment whatsoever to the quality of the work. The only thing... What the hell? Oh, it just put me in a tunnel. Thanks. Can I... Alright, sure, whatever. It does not seem to be a detriment to the quality of the work whatsoever. The things I normally look at are if there are large gray spaces that track travels through. So, which generally there aren't. There's one, and it's just a spot that's been redone. And then there's the stuff that we saw way back at the beginning there, which doesn't account for much. And that's just the tail end of the route that's currently being worked on. So size, I, I will give a 9. And I think there's a very good balance here between realism in distance, and distance between places in terms of running. Oh, am I... I'm zoomed out in view number two, huh? These passing sightings are very well placed. They're not very long, though. Not that you're going to have immensely long drags on this map. That's what it seems like. What is this over here? I'd like to know. Looks like nothing yet. Let me look... Let's say over here. What is what is this? Okay, we've got a yard. We've got a loop with a mine. Okay. So we do have some working industries out on this route. That's what I was hoping to see. A few details. Does it have a name? What is the name of this object? Let's zoom out to the map. Let's do named objects. Or industry names. Nope, that's not named. None of these things are named. It 
section has a blah. White Horse, the Gulch Mine Four, Princess or House. Some of the stuff down here is named Hell Hill. I feel like that's something that's added in there. S.C. Duran Hill. Wait, can we see? Uh, let's see. How about so named industries is fine. Oh, whoops, I flooded the engine again. I got distracted looking at stuff. Come on, game. Come on, work with me here. Kane. Oh, it's installing something, huh? Yep, there we go. Shovel coal. I wish I had... Did I... What? How come I can't see that? I caught it pretty quick after I flooded the engine, so that's uh, better than I usually do. I turn on trackside labels. Oh, okay, we've got some stuff that's named. Cheyenne. The industries themselves are not labeled. That's that's kind of a minor annoyance, and it's definitely inhibiting to uh, to operations. Anyways, I'd a accurate score for time. Needless to say, though, however much time it took, worth it. Wait for a minute now. I've done enough mounting around the map. I think I get. I think I get it. Come on, load on everything. Look at that. That's not great. I feel like I should be. Let's, let's think then. So, time, I don't know. Time will give an 8, I guess. I don't... Wait. But, everything seems to align properly. Oh. So, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely going to industries aren't a whole hog. Uh, you know, if, if you want full points on world, you need to at least get things that are renameable. I'm not sure if the, the terrain itself is very, very well done. Nothing really seems thing that maybe it's because I don't know the route well enough. But there's nothing that screams oh to be here. There there are some industries. Oh of course down the way we're coming from, it's not so I generally have to assume they're dead ends. Even if they very clearly aren't, it's just what, what the point of a portal is. So, it deserves a solid 7. Because everything seems very well done. Actually, no. Let me, let me bring that back one. It definitely deserves a 6. And the reason for it is because I'm not seeing the thing that I very much like to see. Which is a road network connecting the points that should be connected by road. And what I mean by that, generally, is these mine sites, these fields, you know, you've got a connection here, but there are no alternate paths, you know, there's no way to get from there to here, or here, or here, uh, and there's no way to cross these rivers, so far as I can tell, on anything that isn't a train. And I understand that to, to a point, that's pretty realistic. But at the same time, there's a there's something to be... Oh, here's an interchange of sorts. There's something left to be desired there. About the way the world is built. Here's something else. Tracks that you go over and they dead end. Are, are these supposed to be dead ends? I'm going to assume they're supposed to be dead ends. I'm not sure why that would be. 
This seems like a lot of... Four platforms seems like a lot for such a small town. Oh, wait. There are all the buildings. Even still, this is not a very large town. Uh, you know, all things considered. Whereas, you know, meanwhile, I'm trying to do go super realism in Tolbrind and uh, build these crazy gigantic towns, basically. I'm gonna I'm gonna be critical of towns that seem like they're too small for the amount of railroad service that they're getting. Right, shovel coal. Shovel coal. I'm gonna put me back out here. It moves me from the map view into the onto the you know roof of the engine, and then it puts me back, like straddling the boiler. All right, whatever. Are these, I'm guessing these are just broken for me. I feel like they should be a different color. Is that a, uh... Oops. Alright, so... Yeah. World, I, world I've got to give a, uh, a regretful six. I feel like there's an awful lot of potential here, but... Where, when it comes down to it, this is a route very focused on the railroad. And, obviously, that's not particularly, an, it's not a particularly outlandish notion, because, oh yeah, we're in a train simulator. But, when I'm looking over a route, I am looking for a lot of these, uh, I am looking for a lot of these things where the builder has gone above and beyond. Now, in this case, the builder definitely has, in a lot of places, especially, especially with the reskins. I am, I am perpetually impressed by the fact that all that trouble was gone through, because when I'm looking at Tolbrind right now, I'm going, oh yeah, I made logos for everybody, I'm not sure if I want to go through and figure out reskinning for this. Either way, I am incredibly impressed by this route. Uh, what is, oh, you know what, I've, I've got to pull, I've got to pull one more off of track work, and this is why, because you have an awful lot of tunnels where I feel like you could just build a cut. And an awful lot of weird tunnels, although I'm not sure if that should come off the track work or world. Uh, I'm gonna... What the heck is going on with these bridges? I didn't use the same bridge all the way through. The, the other bridge would have been great. And I'm, I'm sure there are... Oh, there's a walkway on the side, sort of. I'm sure there are... Uh, sort of canonical reasons why a lot of these things are the way they are if you develop a cannon for the route, which I wouldn't doubt it based on the detail that has been put in that I'm seeing. What texture am I missing, anyways? Uh, but the uh, but you know, I'm sort of like this is one of those places where you could have just could have just built. It. This is not that deep of a tunnel. Even, even there, they could have removed this whole damn hill. Alright, we're out the other side. We're still moving. Everything's, everything's just fine. Hold on, somebody asked about the... Uh... Do, what is this? I think it's safe to say, blah, blah, blah. Can T1 take poor show curve? face desk. Uh, poor show curve. That was Kevon, too. Kevon, get it together. There's no ballast in. There's trees on top of these tracks. I'm taking another one off the world for that. I'm a stickler, what can I say? Alright. Still, though, this is... You've got three tens. Uh, what else? What else? I, I can I can almost definitely find another bonus point here. Whoa. You know what? I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I think I, I'm I'm tempted to award a bonus point just because of how impressed I am by this damn map. Also because the the amount of water features and none of them seem really out of place. It just feels like we're in you know, a marshland almost. A little bit. Just hilly marshland. It's not anything that's too out of the ordinary for me. Which way? Uh-oh. We've got a red. Oh, 
pause. I want to take a. Uh, I want to take a left, actually. It's not showing me the thingy. Why is it not show? Okay, now it just won't show me them at all. Show junction overlays. Alright, I want you to go this way, and then this way. I probably didn't need those, but I wasn't sure which way the, this switch was going to be pointing. Was I going over the speed limit a minute ago? Alright, we've got- oh, we've got the searchlights! Alright, awesome. Yeah, I have one for some chance. Alright, I have a special place in my heart for those things. I'm going to be using them anyways. Oh, you know what? And that could that could go for the uh, the use of the track tool as well, like the, the track quality. Because clearly there was an area where the track quality was particularly bad. And uh, that that's cool to see. I like it when things get updated. Oh, let me get these. Okay, yeah. You, you definitely earn the hell out of those scenery points. I think I'll give you one more. Sometimes I can't tell if we're going uphill or downhill. Oh, but that just ends? Oh, wait, it goes that way. It was like, okay, wait a minute. There, I'm taking something off for that. This seems unnecessary. These definitely seem unnecessary. Alright. Alright, remind me never to drive and talk. I should have just used DCC. I use, uh... I use Whatchamahoosit when it's just me driving. It's just me pulling around. That's weird. Talk. Alright, well, I think... I don't think I'm going to be adding or removing any more points now. Because, I'll be honest... It's... I, I keep going back and forth and removing and giving and... Let's just tally things up, shall we? Alright, so we've got three tens, that's 30 right off the bat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to tell you, uh... Drive. That way I don't have to pay attention. So that's 30 right off the bat. We've got... So 30 plus 6... Plus 8 plus 9... Plus 9... Plus 9 plus 8 plus 3 plus 5. That's it. Oh yeah, because bonus point bring down and the world's focus down. Well... It's still a fairly high score for the for what I've given out. That's a 78. And all things considered, yeah, that's a pretty good score. Uh, I should have a document somewhere where I save everything. But I'll be pasting I'll be pasting it down in the cargos or the description. And not every place has the cargos. Yeah, see, now it's seeing me even more model rarity. It's a fun route, though. It's a beautiful route as well. I need to use this somewhere, even though it's dated. I told him to autopilot, and I was trying to get to 40 miles an hour. You know, you don't need to... You don't need to go max speed all the time, man. Oh, you've got a dwarf. Still a little bit close. Yeah, there's a lot here. I could I could explore this route for ages, and I'm glad I'm downloading all the uh, Green Gorge stuff, because I probably will in the future. If if Tane will ever run better. Then again, I'm not I'm I won't be recording then, so it might. And I won't be installing stuff either, so it might. But you know it's it, this isn't really a criticism, and I'm certainly not going to be taking points off for it. But it seems like, or it feels like, we're sort of perusing through the same areas over and over again. 
And that's not necessarily bad, because it just means you're consistent, and that, you know, that points to realism a lot. Because terrain in real life can be kind of boring. You don't need to go this fast. You know what would be nice? Speed signs. At the very least, just one outside the engine terminal or places through the route that say, hey, you can only go... You can only go 20. Because if you don't do that, the AI pulls this crap. And so would I. But yeah, I I think that's I think that's good. I, I'm once again impressed by this route, impressed by the dedication that goes into the uh, engines and cars and everything like that, and uh, makes me want to learn how to reskin. To be honest, wonder if we've gotten anything new. So we'll leave you to go. We'll go farther down and look at some stuff. What's the next like art siding oh, over here? Let's do it here. So we've got 2662 tender, 280 number 7. Okay, cute. This is a deckless cab. Uh, sort of. Not really, the, the firebox sticks out the back. Okay. Uh, coach combines, we've got hoppers. I would have liked to have these when I was putting the train together. Oh, those are nice. GG, guys. GG. And are we installing things again, or is Tane just goofing up on me? Oh. We get rid of you. What else have we got? More hoppers. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of hoppers. Oh my god. We've got this reefer as well. I guess we've just been installing hoppers. Remind me to use those at some point. Oh, but this is our other thing. We can make use of this in the future. What's this? Something wrong with that hopper. Oh, and now we're going by this place where we just were. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new engines. That's kind of disappointing. Yet. We didn't get any new engines yet. I've still got 105 more things to download. So, I think there's time. I'm going to leave this going for a while. I would have liked to have left it going, oh, before. But I downloaded the route, didn't realize it wasn't seated. And, uh, was like, oh, I guess I have everything because I had already previously downloaded a different version of the route, which also wasn't seated, didn't realize. And no session, whatever. I should have downloaded the multiplayer session, is, is what I should have done, because then I would have downloaded a bunch of stuff, and I would have had a session to work with. But that's, that's on me. This is a very, very, very good use of water, though. Now in Tain, you can have water that actually goes up and down hills, so that's something. It's pretty cool, though. And, you know, at some point, the, uh, the having the right angle turns and straight lines is very realistic, but when you realize they're all right angle turns for the most part, then that's, that's when it becomes a little sketchy. And then, then it feels like snap track. my critique of that. The use of the rock pieces is very good, though. This bridge is incredibly tall, and I'm going to need to use it somewhere. So this is going to swing one way and the other in the front of the tunnel. Okay. But what's going on over there? Oh, it's just a very tall trestle. Wait, really? It's like a three-story tall trestle. Let's get over there. Let's see this. We need to use these power lines, too, because these actually stop. The ones that I'm used to, uh, 
like go down until they hit the ground, which is really useful. But when you put them on the bridge, when you put them on a bridge, they look particularly dumb. This is a tall trestle. I can understand why it's like that, but wow. Wait a minute, is that waterfall? Oh, whatever. I I'm done. I'm done with the points and stuff. So. Okay, why you do this? That river just sort of starts here. Doesn't it? Yeah. You've got quite a spring in this mountainside, I guess. Whatever. No big deal. This wiggling back and forth across the way, and then straight, and then turn, and then straight, and then turn, and then straight. This is interesting, and actually kind of cool. Then we get over here, and there's so much more map to look at. Like, oh my god. It's ridiculous, and frankly, it's amazing, and I love it. So, that said... What, uh, what roundhouse is this? That said, I think I'm going to end it off here. There's plenty of route to explore. Once again, it's on the download station. If you look up Green Gorge, this is uh, version 9. I'm not sure if this version is on the DLS, but version 8 is. So I got that off the DLS, which is, I assume, very similar. Should have gone from here up. Shouldn't have started over here. That's just what I was looking at. But, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any, uh, you know, questions, comments, concerns, whatever... If you've got a route you want me to review, remind me in about ten weeks' time. Because if Green Gorge has showed me anything, it's that uh, either I should write them down immediately, or just, you know, only get told that I should review a route, like, a couple days before. Because I tried to review this about twice in the past, and it just, it didn't, it didn't come through, because something I would forget, and then something else would pop up, and I'd do that. So, anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week. There's going to be no under construction today, of course, because this has supplanted that, and I didn't, you know, I didn't work today. I was doing this instead. So, I'll see you next week. Train that.